This is Steve Elric with Solid Blend Technologies, and with me today is Dave Christofferson. So based on your experience, um, what is it about a cooling tower cleaning uh, that, that makes it an important part of a good water treatment program? Almost anything um, around water is going to require some sort of regular maintenance. So in a cooling tower, it's no different. It's a giant air scrubber. You're getting in solids and sludge, and you know you might have potential corrosion problems. You got to look at the mechanical equipment and so forth. So regular cleaning gives you opportunity to get rid of the hiding places, you know, under biofilm and sludge and tubercles and so forth. How would you describe a successful cooling tower cleaning? You know, so in a cooling tower cleaning, we're trying to get uh, all the components down to like, 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 like new components, like clean. Um, what is it that's causing the problem? Is it slime? Well, how do you get rid of the slime? Do we have scale or corrosion? Mm, what are we going to do to get rid of that? That's not going to probably slough off with a low pressure hose. Is there something more we need to do on that? You want, really want to do everything that's necessary to minimize the risk and take the opportunity because the Legionella may be underneath that sludge, you know, in the corner and you missed it or the Legionella um, or the slime or the biofilm, you know, we couldn't reach. So we should have just continued and doing a complete cooling tower um, drying, you know, to dry out the biofilm and, and give it time to rot off on its own. What are some of the key components of a successful water treatment program? Why do we do water treatment? And then what is it about the cooling tower that really causes us to have to do this physical cleaning in conjunction with what I would call a great water treatment program in place? First of all, you're just trying to do things efficiently, minimize costs, electrical costs, water costs, you know, asset protection, all of those things. So water treatment, for the most part, is money in the bank. So you spend money on chemistry, service, a water management program. Why does everybody do that? because it's less costly than the consequences of not doing it.